Hello and welcome to a different type of video here. Well, I mean, I've done it a couple of times before, but this is a look at the new Lego City sets, which are coming in 2024, which, if timings have landed correctly, this is the 1st of January that this is being uploaded. Uh, this is being recorded a few days prior, but hopefully this is the 1st of January um, this has been uploaded. So let's have a look and see what's coming out. Um, all these pictures I have here have been uh, taken from brickset.com, a very good website which I highly recommend for finding out at Lego sets, uh, both past, present, and new. So let's just get straight into it with 60399 race car. This is a four plus set. Um, it's very basic, but I mean, do you really like want any more from a four plus set? It looks decent. It almost looks like it isn't a four plus set, which in my opinion is the highest compliment you can ever give a four plus set. Um, comes with two minifigures, a trophy. It, it looks pretty good, pretty basic, but not too bad. Small per count, so should be a relatively um, cheap price. Moving on to a set which is ever so slightly bigger. This is Go-Karts uh, Go and Race Drivers 60400. Um, 99 pieces, it creates two go-karts, um, and that really is pretty much it. Both the go-karts do look pretty good, they're a little bit different, a bit of different detailing. Um, yeah, I particularly like the one in this picture that's on the right with its engine build there is a bit different. Um, yes. Another small uh, set, but you know, should be decent. Now, this is a set which I think is pretty cool. I like all construction things in LEGO. Um, and this is 60401 Construction Steamroller. It's obviously not powered by steam. It'll be most likely a diesel vehicle. Um, however, it does look really good. The drum on the front uh, looks really good, and I'm sure it will turn very well. Um, yeah, it's a strong looking one, this. I don't really have many complaints. Um, looks good. Should be relatively cheap. Um, I do actually have the prices on my other screen. Let me just quickly check. This is currently retailing for eight ninety nine in the UK, so that's a very fair price. So yes, I will be probably reviewing this one pretty quick. Um, a bit close in the future. Um, now we have Monster Truck. This is another Monster Truck. They've done quite a few recently, since they first had a large success with one in, I believe it was 2017, with set number 601. Ooh, 6014 something. I can't quite remember, but it was it was a quite a solid set. Um and yes, this this appears to be another pretty decent looking one. I don't know if this is, has as much suspension action as some of them have in the past. Um particularly that really good one had phenomenal suspension. Uh, each wheel was independent. This does look a little bit more basic, but again, hopefully it's okay. Another 4 plus set now, we have Emergency Ambulance, which unlike 60399, this certainly does not look not like a 4 plus set. It's clear that it's the large pre-molded chassis piece and basic building techniques, and it doesn't look that great, but it's for 4 plus. So I'm still not a whole fan, a big fan of the 4 plus sets in LEGO City. I preferred it when LEGO City was a little bit more for eight upper ages and Lego Juniors theme existed. Um, however, this does look decent enough, I guess, for its job. Um, can fit a stretcher in the back, so yeah. You know, take it or leave it. Now we have the burger truck, which is following on from their successful pizza van and ice cream van, and I'm sure they've had others. Um, but this this looks really good. It's kind of like a older style pickup truck base which the burger can be removed from as you see here um, so you could build other um, types of body to um, go on the back of it um, you could sell other things but yeah this certainly looks quite good and I'm seeing here that it's a relatively good price at $17.99 in the UK so that's 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 okay I think um, yes 60404 this one Set not found. This is Lego City 60405 Emergency Rescue Helicopter. Um, it, 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 it looks quite different for a Lego City helicopter, which is quite a compliment. 
it's got a harness on the side which can um, winch someone down and you can see there's a minifig there with a the flare but yeah this this looks actually pretty decent for a Logo City helicopter and it's a larger ambulance helicopter which can fit a stretcher inside it which is something we haven't had for a while usually they're clipped on the outside precariously but yeah this doesn't look too bad at all now we have race car and car carrier truck um, this set's interesting. Um, this truck is definitely, no questions asked, in my opinion, supposed to be based off a Renault T. Um, it's got the same grille, same kind of lights, same kind of curved in front. It looks incredibly similar, actually. Um, th the car, I don't, I don't know what the car's really supposed to be, but it does look pretty good. Um, my one questionable thing is in this picture, um, on the box art, it does appear that the truck is racing the car, so the truck is as fast as the car. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it, I mean, yeah, it does seem like a souped up truck. I don't know if a real Renault T could um, keep up, but uh, maybe this one can. Maybe it's got a um, seriously upgraded running gear and engine. But yeah, again, another fine looking set. Um, it's a bit different, which is nice. Another four plus set. There's quite a few, isn't there? Uh, now we have Fire Rescue Motorcycle, which is the world's largest motorcycle. It's enormous. Um, it's got what used to be like excavator wheels on it. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a big one. Um, there's a burnt sausage on a barbecue, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's a water hose. Again, it doesn't look phenomenal, but, you know, it'll do its job, hopefully. Can you tell there's another fire sub-theme? I know. Now we have... 60411 fire rescue helicopter which is our second fire set and our second helicopter this one is more similar to what a typical lego city helicopter looks like um it's got the three tile shooter on the side uh, well actually both sides it's got two uh the biggest problem with them is this is the newer design but the, the, they, they still just they go under something and they disappear and you never see them again but yeah it look it looks okay um i don't know i'm just kind of they've made so many of these helicopters especially fire ones i don't buy every lego city set i used to but now there's just so many that are all so similar and i am sure i've already got like four helicopters that look pretty much identical to this but yeah if you want a fire helicopter and you don't already have one maybe this is the one to get now we have lego city 60412 4x4 truck with rescue boat uh, this looks quite good. I quite like the truck. I really liked the uh, Lego City 60374. It's, it's like a large Mercedes Unimog off-road vehicle. Um, I have actually reviewed that. I don't think the video is out yet, but I have recorded the video. Um, I imagine it will be coming out fairly soon. Um, but this feels kind of like in the same genre of off-road rescue is that and I kind of like it it's a bit different they haven't really done it much um I like the tent um which I oh, have the tents on fire but yeah it, it, it's quite nice now there's a close-up of the tent um yeah I, I, I think this is of all the fire sets this is probably my favorite one although that being said I also quite like this one this is fire rescue plane um it's just a bit different um they did a fire plane a couple years ago, 2019, I think, set number 60217, if I remember correctly, which I reviewed, and I thought it was very good. Um, I think it's probably about as good as this one. Uh, they're very similar, to be honest. They look um, slightly different, but, I mean, it's really minimal. Um, I believe they even both share the same uh, cockpit piece. So, yeah, few changes really have been made. But... This one drops water, just like the previous one did. And, yeah, it's it looks fine. Yeah, it, it, look, it looks good, actually, I think. Especially from this angle, sitting on the um, tarmac here. It, it really looks like a real aircraft. You could actually imagine that. It, it, it definitely looks like, um, I don't know, maybe like an ATR-72 or something. I don't know, not a particularly large one. But, you know, something definitely looks like something. Here we have this year's fire station, which again, I think this actually doesn't look too bad. It's a bit different. Um, 
I like the big numbers on the doors. I like the way the doors open. Um, they they retract kind of in a circle. It's pretty cool. I like the different layout of the fire station. However, it is so thin. It's it's definitely like a large frontage, and it's very narrow, as you can see in this picture. Um, doesn't look like there's much detail inside. I don't know. Um, yeah, I reviewed the 2019 uh, fire station set 60215, and I, I, I think it's better than this one. I probably won't be reviewing this one, but certainly the other one I found to be looking at these pictures, it, it seemed to have more detail. Uh, the fire truck's pretty cool, um, but they've made a lot of fire trucks, that's for sure. Moving away from fire, finally, we are on a 60415 police car and muscle car chase. Um, th this is police now. <laughs> Yay. Just what we need more of, Lego City Police. But, I mean, this is a bit different, is it, really? I don't know. There's a set I can remember um, from, like, I think 2019 again. I want to say something like 60205 or something along those lines. 206, which seemed to have almost this exact same setup. Um, but, you know, it it's not too bad. Um, police car looks a bit different. There's money flying everywhere, that usually happens. I don't know, it's, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, well, okay. Now this set has been made before. There is no doubt in my mind that this exact set effectively has been made before. This is set 60417, it's Police Speedboat and Crooks Hideout. And in 2016, LEGO made a set called 60131 Crooks Hideout, which was so similar to this. It had a police jet ski, I think, a cargo container which the um, criminals could come out of, and a little hideout. The only difference was it was all on one level. It didn't have this like upper deck with a second container. But it was so similar. It, it really is ridiculous how similar this is. It was a very good set, so this one should be. Although again, I'm wondering if it's slightly more lacking on detail, but I I think they're pretty similar. So, I mean, it was a good set, so maybe they've just decided to remake it slightly. Now we have 60418, Police Mobile Crime Lab Truck, which is interesting. They haven't really done anything about forensics before in Logo City Police, as far as I can remember. So this is a bit different, and I quite like that. Um, it doesn't look too bad at all, really. Um, yeah. Um, it's a bit different. I quite like it. They've done quite a lot of these like mobile command trucks in the past, but they usually are quite good. So I couldn't... I can't imagine this will be too bad. Um, I believe it is retailing for quite a steep price. I'm just checking here. Yeah, it's $49.99, which, to be fair, for 674 pieces isn't too bad, but it's still a little bit on the steep side. Um... Yeah, not too bad. And here we come to a set which I believe its exact name has been used before. This is um, 60419, Police Prison Island. Yes, that name might ring a bell to some people. Um, I believe it was set 60126 was called, I'm pretty sure, Police Prison Island or Prison Island. Um, and it was superior to this um i i remember that set i i got that set um that was before i had this channel but i did um have it on display and it looked superior to this without a doubt um it it, it just had more space it had more going on it did have more pieces i believe or oh, this is 980 um it just yeah it was just a bit more detailed this set even has the exact same little, like, getaway idea, effectively, of the drainage pipe. Um, I'm sure that was exactly the same in it. However, this one does also have a minecart system, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, I will say that's that's quite a nice addition. Um, but, yeah, this just seems a bit more, except for the minecart, just a bit more basic than the last one. Um, 
but you know, comes with a shark and a police dog, which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, this is retailing for eighty nine ninety nine, um, which isn't actually that bad at all. That's a pretty fair price, especially considering these large rock pieces. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. Now we're on to the space theme, um, starting with the 60428 Space Construction Mech, which I believe might be the first mech they've ever done in LEGO City. I am, as far as I'm aware, this space theme is set a little bit in the future. We're a little bit high in technology, and I believe there's also aliens. Um, not in this set, mind you. We have a little robot and some kind of geodes, um, which would be found on the um, surface of this planet. I don't, I don't exactly know which planet, but whichever planet we're exploring. I really like the box art um, for these sets with the uh, grey stripe that says space. I think that does make it uh, look pretty smart. And that's how you get in the mech. I like the new spacesuits as well. Um, so yeah. Then we have Spaceship and Asteroid Discovery, which is a 4 plus set. This 4 plus set, uh, similar to the first one we looked at, doesn't really look like a 4 plus set. You could imagine this being a normal city set which I don't know if that's a compliment towards this set or a negative of most city sets, but it, it doesn't look too bad at all. There is our first kind of alien thing in it, um, but yeah, not too bad at all. Um, should be a fine set, I would imagine, um, especially for younger builders. Here we have 60430, Interstellular Spaceship. This is kind of the spaceship for old people, um, although unfortunately with this one you don't get the um, some of the cool, like, uh, on-ground stuff that you got with uh, 429. Um, this, again, looks absolutely fine. Um, do you know I mean about the other one not really looking like a 4-plus set, though? Because this looks kind of similar, doesn't it? 60431 is next, and it is Space Explorer Rover and Alien Life. So this is openly talking about aliens. Uh, we also have this large rover, which I think might be the biggest rover they've done in a while, if ever. Um, it, it looks pretty good. Um, it does, as, as far as I'm aware, have hard plastic wheels, which, while that is kind of realistic to rovers, I mean, they wouldn't have hard plastic wheels, but they wouldn't have rubber wheels. Um, it, 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 it's going to mean it slides about a bit, but I think that's okay. Um, it's got suspension on the front wheels, at least, um, and the rear ones, uh, but independent on the front, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got some space for storage. Yeah, it, it should be decent. And now we have the Command Rover, which is in kind of a similar theme. This is 60432. Um, it's like the larger rover for the two rovers. I think this one is much cooler. Um, it's again got alien stuff. Uh, but it's also got a crane on the back, which is pretty cool. It can be used for loading um, stuff up, <laughs> um, like samples. Um, yeah, this this is pretty cool. I quite like this one. Um, yeah, it's got a module in it which can be removed. Um, so, yeah, interesting set. Now we have six zero four three three, which is modular space station. Now this is the uh, fourth time maybe now that they've attempted a space station in the last few years. Um, I have I've been meaning to get one because I, I to kind of complete my space set which I have been collecting for a few years. Um, this honestly so far is probably my favourite. Um, although I quite liked last year's one as well, so I'll need to think about that. Uh, but this set does look pretty good. It's got I believe seven, eight different modules, five of which are enclosed uh, for people. Um, a Paris one a docking port, I believe, and then kind of a like a farm growth area. Um, and they're all on this kind of track in the middle, which I don't think it's... Maybe it does spin. I actually probably should have checked that. I don't believe it does. Um, I think it's just for looks. But, yeah, and they can all be created into this kind of, like, space train-looking thing. Um, it looks pretty good. Um... Yeah, it looks more detailed than most, which is good. And now we have 60434, the flagship of the space theme, 
space base and rocket launch pad, which looks pretty cool. It's got a crane on like a big platform. It's got a rocket launch pad and this funny little truck in the bottom. It all looks pretty good, um, fairly well detailed. I do particularly like the crane and building in the center. It looks pretty um, impressive, quite a big structure. Um, I like the door, how it slides up. Um, yeah, it's not too bad looking at all, actually. Quite like this one. And it folds open to reveal the interior details. This is our final one today. This is 60438 Sailboat. Um, it's a pretty basic set with only 102 pieces, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, I know I sound like a broken record, but they've done a sailboat before. Um, it was a very good set as well, actually. I think it was 2017. However, this one certainly, I would say, looks just as good, if not better. It's got a nice amount of space on the deck, good detail. Um, yeah, looks looks good, I think. I think this is actually, this is a smaller sailboat than the one they did previously. And I think for its size, this one is more impressive in detail, with only having just over 100 pieces and only retailing for, just checking should have written this down, I believe it is, it is, $17.99, so, yeah, um, not too bad, and that brings us to the end, so, um, uh, yeah, I think overall, 2024 in City is looking, uh, relatively pro promising, I, I, I say this most years, um, that it looks better than last, but it genuinely has been improving for a few years on, for the most part, I've just kind of given up with the enormous amount of police and fire sets that they're putting out, and I more concentrate on the different kind of things. It used to be called Great Vehicles, the theme that was General City Vehicles. I don't know if that's still running, but yeah, I think um, I think it's looking okay this year. Um, so let me know in the comments below what your favourite set from this year is going to be. Um, I have got reviews of one uh, already lined up to come out and that'll be coming out probably later this month or next month um, I'll also be doing a video hopefully tomorrow 2nd of January um, covering the Technic and uh, Icons and Ideas sets um, or Idea set uh, which are coming out in 2024 that have already been announced so until then I will talk to you again very soon bye for now